So uh, I grew up and uh, we're born in the east side of Wilmington and we, you know, in 75, 26, moved to the north side of Wilmington. So I had a good life, everything was good, it's normal, normal life. Then when high school came, there was a lot of changes going on. Break dancing came in, uh, graffiti writing came in. Uh, and that was good because everyone was together, break dancing and whatever and all this stuff. And then the gang stuff started coming in, the crack epidemic came in. And so it was, you've seen a lot of bad things out there, you know. And uh, unfortunately, all that stuff, friends being around it, just thinking it's normal, uh, made me make some bad decisions when I was older. And I, and I, I kept making bad decisions for a long time, you know, and I thought it was slick. I, after I had a family, I was still making bad decisions. And so those bad decisions cost me a, a 10 year sentence in prison, federal prison. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot in federal prison. I think maybe I needed it and it was worth it. Uh, being away from my family really hurt, but I learned so much how to appreciate everything I had. You know, my mom had the business. I could have been involved with business, but I wasn't worried about that. Being in federal prison, being away from everything, it really changed my life to the point where I came home with a, a whole new Ghana. It's a whole new thing of wanting to do better my community and better myself and my mom's restaurant. Uh, I think I took it to a new level since I came home in uh, 2011. First of all, while I was in prison, I was in a federal prison. So I was surrounded by doctors, lawyers, chiropractors, people that were really smart, real estate investors, you know, people that do maybe cheat on their taxes, and people with big crimes too. And so I try to sponge as much as I can from them. Restaurant owners too, other people. Uh, so I learned as much as I can. And yeah, when I came home, I hit the ground running. And, and I went, maybe I was running a little too fast. So I had to slow down. My mom's like, hey, 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 slow down. My mom's really smart. Even though she, she didn't know, like, she knows how to talk English, but technology and all that stuff. So I'd have a great idea, let's do this. And she's like, hold on, you have to cover every angle when you do change something on the menu. The cook's gotta know it, you gotta make sure the menu's right, you gotta make sure this is right, that's right. And she guided me in the right direction to do it. And the restaurant's doing a lot better. I added a POS system, uh, menus with pictures on them, uh, you know, cleaned up the place, uh, we did this, we did that. But when I came home, they make, they laugh at me because everything was dirty to me. Because in prison, there's nothing. There's no walls, there's no pictures, there's nothing on the walls. The grounds are spotless because you're held to a higher standard by your people or by the, by the actual you know, correctional facility to clean everything up. So when I came home, any little dirty thing, I was just like, <gasps> clean that, that's dirty. So uh, part of that helped me to, to make it to the next level and it gave me a voice to speak to kids because kids really look, oh, this guy was in prison, you know, he knows. He's been there, he's been through everything. So I'm a cool guy, I'm a big guy, so they, first of all, they're gonna look at me like, wow, this guy's so huge, and he's cool people, and I'm, I'm a funny guy also. So when they come to eat at the restaurant, I, even since they're little, I, I kind of train them, you know, I'm training them says, uh, to be good people, because, hey, did you eat all your food? How's school going, did you do your homework? And I have these lollipops we sell, the blow pops, and we sell those, but I say, here, I'm gonna give you one of these because you ate all your food today, or you're doing good at school, and the dad would just behind them give me the thumbs up, and that's like the best feeling in the world. Thank you.